In this episode of Con Crunch Challenge, cosplayer Hide My Error attempts to make Bo's level 10 jacket from the popular podcast Critical Role, faux fur lining and all. Welcome to the Con Crunch Challenge. One brave cosplayer will have only two hours to complete their cosplay project. You'll see all the tips, tricks, and hacks to getting cosplay costumes ready in time for the big con. That's why it's called the Con Crunch. It's not about making it perfect, it's about getting it done. I'm Cheryl Sloboda, and on this episode of Con Crunch Challenge, the faux fur will fly. Hi, my name is Hyde from Hide My Air Cosplay. I will be making Beauregard from Critical Role. I'll be making her level 10 coat for today's challenge. And I'm really nervous. Hyde, welcome to the set of Con Crunch Challenge. And are you ready to pick out some supplies from the supply board? Uh, yes, yes I am. Awesome, all right. All right, all right so I'm gonna take these three. I'll take some frogs, cutter, some gold cording, scissors, some interfacing. Ooh, I think that might be it. Her name is Beauregard and she's a monk and she's a hot mess and I love her. I'm making her coat. So basically it's a really long sleeveless coat with a really tall collar. It's blue on the outside and fur lined on the inside. So it looks pretty regal, which is not bow until she hits level 10. So it's just gonna be a lot of fun. Cosplayer, you get exactly two hours to complete your project. No exceptions. If you're in a pinch, you can cry for help two times and get an assist from a fellow cosplayer. Good luck. All right, Cassidy, welcome back to the set. Thank you, happy to be here. Thank you for coming. And are you ready to go, Howard? I Please. certainly have to be. We'll put two hours on the clock. All right, and we will go. <laughs> okay, what am I doing? There is so much stuff where I need There's stuff. A lot of stuff. Patterns. Patterns. All right. Did you draft these yourself? I did. Beautiful. I just made a sloper pattern for the first time in my life. Oh, wow. Two days ago. Huh. Here are my lovely French curves that I printed off because I don't want to buy them because they are expensive. Okay, so it's not on a fold, but I can only cut. God, freaking forgot I can only cut one of those. So this coat is asymmetrical. Ooh. So I had to make one pattern piece that is two different patterns. So I guess I'll just be cutting out the full thing twice and then trimming it down. So I've also never worked with suede cloth before or fur. Oh. So I've worked with suede leather, I think, before. It was a coat that I cannibalized. Um, but that would be the closest. So I'm mostly just hoping that pinholes don't show through. I like them because their whole purpose is to be scattered and messy and heavy. Basically just a cumbersome problem, but they're like necessary. Under no other circumstance would they be desirable for most things. Oh, these are really nice scissors. <laughs> oh, so smooth. And I'm stabbing myself in the thumb with the pin. <laughs> Excellent. Center back. Come to me. Don't scratch the table. So is the suede on the top and the fur is underneath? Yes, so wow. it's blue suede on the outside and it'll be this lovely brown fur on the inside. So this stupid pattern. I had to write instructions for both sides because this is different. Oh, now they're working on the asymmetrical uh, part it's like, of it. Why are you folding your thing back? <laughs> just on one layer. Because I didn't want to make two pattern pieces that just seemed excessive. So on both sides, it says flip up for this side, flip down for this side. See? Got it. Uh, yeah. Cool. So <coughs> I think we're good there. That's scrap. You have three more pieces? Uh, just two. This is a, just a template for slashing the back off because that's Aww, asymmetrical okay. too. So that's I figured I didn't so want to take the time to measure that out here. It's fun trying to figure out what to do for the collar because we grabbed quite a few collar patterns from things that we had around the house just to see what styles would work best or like just based off of what we've done before. Mm -hmm. And this one was from my friend's coat that she made for Dezel from Tales of Zisteria. But it was made for my friend who is a very large, like adult man mm -hmm. with a large collar on him. And this is like the unaltered collar that ended up working best. Oh. I'm like, are you telling me <laughs> that the collar I'm using 
is the unaltered one for this stupid thing. It doesn't look terribly large on the coat, but. So Hyde, what is it about the character of Bo that makes you want to cosplay her? I could go as easy as saying our hairstyle was similar enough when she came out that True. I was like, I don't need a wig for that. <laughs> but I do really actually like her as a character. I don't, I don't really know. She's very fun. If you've never listened or watched Critical Role, it's definitely worth it just because they all feed off of each other's energy. So. They do. Yeah, I love that show. So I've never cut so. fur before. I've heard some good things on how to cut it. Okay. I Should we give advice? I don't know. <laughs> Are we allowed to give advice? Blade. Okay, so I can tell you my plan and then you can like think if you like mm. need to give if me we advice. Make a, if we make a face like this, then don't do that. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna flip it inside out. So it's on the fabric side when I cut it and I have a razor blade that I'm gonna just have the pattern and slice it on the back. Okay, I'm getting nods. That means this is not a terrible idea. The alternative that I've heard is that if you don't do that, you end up with fur everywhere, like this little fluffle. Mm-hmm. All right, so I am attempting to cut out my pattern in the fur and hoping it comes out relatively looking similar to my actual pattern piece that I have under it. I don't think that it is though. Well, we cut through one layer. You only cut through one layer. So that means I have to flip it over? Oh no, I don't like this. <laughs> well, uh, you, you have an hour and 30 minutes left. And two cries for help. That's true. Yeah. Normally I'd like take the time and draw this out. And now that I know that it doesn't cut through both sides, I'd probably like draw it, flip it over, draw it on the other side, then cut the rust out. But uh, mm. I feel like I don't have time for that. Since it's asymmetrical, this almost works out better. I can only cut one side at a time. Cool. Okay, that's an edge piece. This is gonna be really weird. To me, the hardest part is keeping which side did I just cut. Yeah. Yeah, luckily in my case, that one is labeled on both sides. Ah. Uh. And this one is on the fold. Well, it's supposed to be, but it just moved. <laughs> Near the fold. Near the fold. Okay, blade. There you go. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I like setting the mood with a dust cloud. <laughs> oh, that was really good. That was delicious. <laughs> mm. Nice is just doing that made a nice fold in the fur, which was unexpected, but it's making a great guideline for this. Oh, where it was wrapped on the bolt. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Or either that or just like, yeah, it was like where it was, where I got it folded. I'm trying desperately to not cut through since I'm not actually over the cutting part of the table right now. You may not have noticed but this coat is a little long. It is a long coat. Cool, I have a back. Ta-da! Right. Just one though. Let's see. That looks about right. Okay, so then this, again, I'm just really concerned about cutting it the wrong way. So if you do, do you have the other piece? Like the, f the other one that you cut, that yeah. one? So yeah, so you could always cut them both long and then wait until you get to the end and then use the template to cut off the extra piece. That's true. probably what I'm gonna end up doing. That's what I would do, because I would mm -hmm. be scared of doing the same I, thing. I, yeah, if there, you, it's always better to leave more than take yeah. away. Mm -hmm. and we're just not gonna fold this over anymore, because that's, Clearly not how fur works. I'm Harry all over the place. This is fine. Hi Harry, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> I've missed you, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> this is also a part where you have to want to pay attention to the direction of the fur. So luckily the fur has been going down this entire time. The only part that I want the fur to go up for is the collar. Right. So I think I got that. I'm just 
but thank you. No, I'm. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh no, <laughs> is the fur facing up? Was it facing up this whole time? <laughs> Luckily not. I think all of my pieces have been facing up. I'll I worry about fine. that later. And you have an hour and 10 minutes left. Uh, it's taken me an hour to get there and I'm not even finished cutting out my fabric yet. Uh, well, I might have it all cut out by the one hour mark. Maybe. Ooh, this is soft. You have one hour. Okay, time to panic. Mm. Um, I think I'd like to use a call for help. Okay. If you guys want to help me piece these together. Rock, paper, scissors, yeah. what do you want to do? <laughs> just ah. regular rock, paper, scissors, or are you going to pull out a lizard spot? <laughs> no, on me? just regular okay. rock, paper, right. scissors. Oh, you cover the rock. Yeah. I cover the rock. <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> Does that mean I go or you go? Yeah, I'll go. Okay. <laughs> what, does, what does that mean? These terms were not clear at the beginning of yes, this. They were murky to begin with. So sides, we'll go to side back first. Okay. So then we actually have an armhole to work with. I see. And then shoulders and the other side. Correct. So we're not going to do shoulders quite yet. So it's just going to be these and then side. this to that. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Cool. And I'll start working on my blue. Why does Hyde keep suffering through the con crunch? It's all about the friendship. I started cosplaying officially, I guess, back in 2014. It was my first convention was Anime Land Wasabi. The most magical experience of my life because it only got better. I definitely really love the cosplay community as a whole. I like making them for myself. It's definitely fulfilling to just like have it and make it because it's just therapeutic to create. And there's so many aspects of cosplay that it allows you to do many things, kind of hop around and you never really get bored because you can flit around multiple hobbies. Whereas the community aspect of it, I don't think it would be nearly as fun if I didn't get to go frolic around with my friends in costume. And I think it's just really cool to be able to do that with friends at like convention standings or just community standings. So Hyde, what are you doing now? So I am pinning, actually I think I'm doing the same thing she's doing. I am pinning my side back to my back for the front, uh, for, for the outside. The blue, the blue part of the same thing. Got it. Nope. Negative Ghost Rider. <laughs> There's an order to things. I'm about to learn what they are. Nope, nope, in the thing. Cool, cool. Power. Okay. Nope. No power? Was it on? It was on already, guys. We're good. <laughs> I turned it off. <laughs> I don't know how to use threaders. <laughs> no one ever taught me how to use a sewing machine for the longest time. Oh. When I was sewing, I didn't actually even know that um, you could do this to pull the thread out. Oh. <laughs> so I was using my grandma's sewing machine to sew my very first project, and I was sitting there on the ground like this, trying to shove the fabric up every single time. So every single time it fell through, it was like another half hour of me crying, trying to get back to Aww. it. Well, how about I give you this one, which is all pinned. Cool. And I continue pinning that one. Rad. I'll make sure there's nothing on the floor for you. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> what could you nice. possibly mean? <clears throat> Ah, oh, suede. So nice. Sharp. So sewing fur. Hey Google, can you straight stitch fur? Yes. Thanks Google. <laughs> Google just gave me some videos. Siri, hey Siri says yes. <laughs> Sharon, Sharon, Sharon. Cheryl's sewing bot says yes. Machine techs everywhere are absolutely dying that you're sewing over your pins. Mm -hmm. but, but you do you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on a time crunch, okay? I agree. Give I, I, I would have to stop all I've the time I've only broken too. one needle before doing this. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. We have extra. You have 45 minutes left. It's fine. It's fine. So have you had anyone fail the challenge yet? No. Cool. There's always a first time for everything. <laughs> we'll see how that looks. I don't love how it looks on the back, but no one will ever have to see that, will they? 
Well, those will be fine. inside, right? Exactly. It's fine. It's, it's fine. It's really hard not to put other people's pins in your mouth. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the worst. That's my struggle at this exact moment in time. So there's that like urban myth where somebody has inhaled a pin, but I've never met anybody who actually did it. Haven't done it yet. Mm. So hand sewing needles so I don't lose them or I don't have to dig through the pin bowl to find it. I'll just stick it in my blouse and then I forget about it until later and I'm like, ah! <clears throat> I have gone to the grocery store and someone goes, do you know you have a pin right there? Yes, I do. Yes. I have forgotten, but I always pretend. Mm -hmm. like I'm, yes. I'm totally aware I know it's of the there. pin being. <laughs> like, yeah. no, but that sounds like something I do, so. Yeah, I'm aware. Oh, Perfect. That's right. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> Bangarang. All right. It's a coat. All right, I'm done. Cool. It's beautiful. Okay. Wow. Well, it's beautiful. Wow. Wow. It's beautiful. Uh, I did such a great job, you guys. So proud yes. of you. I can't believe Con Crunch is done. Round two. Nope, nope, you shifted. Stop that. I like how they talk to it, mm -hmm. as if that will make it better. Yeah. Well, listen, it knows better. It does, <laughs> it should. Didn't Evan do that? He even named it. Mm-hmm. Still didn't, oh, what is it, Betsy? Do no. favors? Yeah, it was Betsy, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Come on, Betsy, you got this. <laughs> Oh, you named it Bessie. Yeah, it's oh, Bessie. Oh, wait, you named your machine yeah. already. Aw. Oh, own Bessie. I know I ain't always been good to you. <laughs> I loved his episode. Oh, Betsy. He didn't always treat you right. Mm-mm. <laughs> okay, so you're going this way, and you're going this way. We just need to go. Moving on. Well, mm. you have 30 minutes. <laughs> Hide. Gross sobbing. <laughs> I didn't backstitch. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Oh, wow. Ta that looks nice enough. Oh, I like it. Cool. All right. Now for my handy dandy little pattern that I drew myself because I knew under pressure I'd forget what order to do this in. I made a diagram. Oh, Fancy. nice. Fancy. Because I knew this. I'd get confused. Okay. Armholes, then collar thing. Okay. Here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I kept thinking that there's no way two hours can really fly like that, right? Oh. <laughs> How? How does this happen? I don't... I just had two hours. Match my seams. This is very interesting because the fur is like going out and down on one side, but down on the other side because fur has a direction. Yeah, but you can also, when it's all done, take like a toothbrush and sort of like comb it mm -hmm. into the right direction. Yeah. Cool. So how are you feeling on time? Not great. Okay. <laughs> what can... Is there a... Something. Is there a cry for help that yeah, we can help you with? Um, good question, good question. I'm trying to think of something. I'm not really good at delegating. It's all about making sure it's at a point that you can wear it. Right. To a con. So, shoulders. Absolutely. Let me get my shoulders sewn. Yeah, at the bare minimum, okay. I would say shoulders. Now this, when do you flip it? That's the So question. I should get these sewn before I flip it, but I can not and just tack it down because one of my other ideas was mm -hmm. hand whip stitch at, at a later point to make mm -hmm. sure it actually mm -hmm. yeah, layers out over it. Mm -hmm. And then I don't have to finish any edges. Yeah. So that's a collar. That's a collar. So. I suppose I can't ask you to pull out another sewing machine and help me, can I? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> but I can hand sew. <laughs> well, yeah. So what do you need? Ironing is good. Yeah, or, yeah. yeah. I mean. Uh, yeah, can I use my second cry for help? Sure. To help me with the collar? Yes. Oh, I've been sitting too long. Sorry. All right. This year. Nope. So I definitely need at least those pins together, and then if interfacing is going to happen, it should probably happen at this point. Got it. Looks like Cheryl's already on the way. Where? I love those what? cute little irons. Look this is go. so great. Look at it go. Little kicking butt. Mm -hmm. Taking names. 
I'm jealous because I really wanted to use that iron. Oh, well. <laughs> but I'm running out of time. Look at that. Boom. Oh, wham, nice. bam. Mm -hmm. Thank you, ma'am. Have 14 minutes. I will keep you updated, so don't worry about looking at the clock. I will do my absolute best to not look at the clock. Media. All right, which uh, edge needs to be pinned? This side or this side? Is this the part that attaches to the... Uh, this is the bottom, so we're actually gonna pin all along here. All along this top here? Yes. Okay, Thank I you. was just curious. I, I didn't really No, you're good. Know. I'm doing something funky with how I'm planning to attach that to is I'm actually gonna sew all of everything to just the blue side. Okay. And then let the fur just fall down inside the collar. Yes. And then hand finish that wherever it decides to lay. Got mm. it. While you're doing that, I'm gonna yes. quick look at the back. Yeah, that was fancy. Fancy move there, Hyde. Thanks. Right? I'm really impressed. That didn't work nearly as well as I hoped, but it did mark mm. it. It like scored it? Yeah. Like not enough where I can tear it off, but I can see the line. That's all that matters. This is done, as of pretending it's done. Okay. Thank you. Ooh, that feels nice. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> All right, Hyde, you have 10 minutes to attach the collar. Good to know. Pedal to the metal. Good. All right. It's a corner. It's a very Ooh. hairy corner. Hey, yeah. I get to use the iron. You think it's okay to press for yeah. side down? Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Yeah. Oh, that's that so nice. Mm-hmm. I just got that little pointy tip. Yeah. It's right in there. Yep. Okay. Now that it's super toasty. It is very warm. <laughs> it's definitely not hot enough in here, so, you know. <laughs> You're but doing good. You still have eight minutes. It took you two minutes. That, that's, that was awesome. Thanks. So, you're doing good. You're okay. Five minutes. Dun, 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 dun. And now that the interfacing is in it, it's thicker to pin through. Yeah. You know. <laughs> it's helpful, but in a way that hurts. Did you pleat it? Nope, we're just gonna fudge it. Got it. And then it's gonna be fine. Do it. Do what I tell you. <laughs> do it or I will fight you. I've thrown a sewing machine before and I won't do it today. Whoa. <laughs> oh, please don't be tucking. I think that you're tucking. Don't be tucking. Mission to blood. I don't care how you look, you're going to be sewn. Okay, that one's sewed down. Great. Snipping threads, I don't even know her. What's right? that? <laughs> People do that? Cool. Ooh. What? Yes. yes. Cool, it's... Wearable. Wearable. It is. Okay. Ten seconds. Is that the Dunalar? Yep. It is the cool bell Time that tolls up. for the. All right. It's kind of together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you did it. Between the faux fur struggle and beast of a jacket pattern, the two hour challenge almost got the best of Hyde. But this jacket looks con ready to me. Well Hyde, I know you have a lot that you would like to do to this, but it looks fantastic for two hours. Thank you. For completing the challenge, uh, we are happy to award you a Singer gift card and also a prize pack from RNK Distributing and an Oliso iron. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm so excited. Thank you so much. Congratulations on completing the Con Crunch Challenge. Woo! Woo! This has been the Con Crunch Challenge. Remember, there's no crying in cosplay. Well, maybe a little. <laughs>